If you've spent much time in the central Lonsdale area, you've seen them. Currency exchanges. There are more than two dozen in the city of North Vancouver alone. A fact not lost on people online. I love exchanges. I love the currencies. I love exchanges. In West Vancouver, councillors were concerned enough that they introduced a rule that limits how many currency exchanges can be on any given block along with other businesses. Now, the city of North Vancouver has singled out currency exchanges, or money service businesses, banning new ones from setting up at street level. But why are there so many here? There are two main factors. First, the area is home to a large Persian community. Second, international sanctions make sending money to and from Iran more complicated than other countries. It started almost 20 years ago with concerns about Iran's nuclear program. By 2011, Canada had introduced sanctions cutting off Iran's financial institutions. People can still send and receive money, but it's closely regulated. The businesses doing the transfers need to follow steps to make sure there isn't money laundering, and the transfers aren't tied to nuclear weapons development or terrorism. It all goes through Canada's Financial Transactions and Reports Analysis Centre, or FinTrack. We spoke to a couple of business owners who say that a big part of their job is paperwork. Sure, these businesses will exchange certain currencies, but their bread and butter is sending money to and from Iran. So why did North Van City Council decide to impose new limits? They have sort of what we might call dead space in their windows. They're not kind of things that attract uh, pedestrians to want to go in and shop, to have an active zone. And so we're saying they are part of the makeup that needs to serve the community, but it's where should they be? If we want to have a walkable community, if we want to have that vibrancy, we don't want them on the ground level on the main, main areas. Don Bell says this wasn't meant to target a specific community. But we're not looking at who operates the businesses. What we're talking is about the actual type of business that it is and how, uh, whether that goes against the goal of, of animating the street. So it's really got nothing to do who operates it. However, unlike West Vancouver, the city of North Vancouver bylaw only applies to money service businesses, mostly run by Iranian Canadians and serving that community. So don't expect any new money exchanges to be set up on the street here. Rafferty Baker, CBC News, North Vancouver.